Hi and welcome back to the magnificent Chesil Beach in Dorset and it's early June and it's a beautiful afternoon it's about four o'clock we've got a ten o'clock high tide tonight which is perfect because it coincides with darkness and I'm just about to set up Chris will be along shortly um, he's been delayed at the surgery but he'll be along later so I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of the tackle I use. It's nothing special, but I use a, a pen mag multiplier. I've got one 515 and one 525, but they're essentially the same. And the rod I use is a, a pen Rampage Surf 15 foot 9 3 piece. It's almost like a continental rod, really. My casting side isn't great. It's sort of just a bit of a, a half pulley thump but the extra length does give me extra distance and then I use 90 pound braid for my shock leader which I find goes through the rings very easily and I've never had any problems with it and on the business end I use pulley panels virtually all the time um, I'll use a running ledger close in if I'm fishing a mackerel head for bass at night but otherwise it's a good old pulley panel there we go and I've got size sixes on there just a strong size 6 Aberdeen. I sometimes use Sakumas, but I think any brand would do. So we're going to get that out now. Um, not expecting a great deal this early on in the day with bright sunshine, but you never know. So we'll get baited up and get it out there. So the bait I'm going to start using is ragworm, which I got from Abbotsbury Angling, which is always good quality. And I've tipped that with a little bit of squid. Um, when Chris arrives later he's got some lug which he dug yesterday to bring down as well and hopefully we can catch a few mackerel for bait as the sun starts to fade but that's what I'm going to use initially so we'll get that one out there and see what happens No overrun, thankfully. To be fair, the 525 mags are so difficult to overrun, you've got to make a big mistake to do that. There we go. And we're fishing. Excellent. Well, there we are, both rods are out now and fishing. Now it's time for a bit of a rest. Quite a lot of people ask me, where do you and Chris fish on Ches? And everyone's got their favorite mark, but I wouldn't be giving too much away if I said that we generally park at Abbotsbury and then walk for about an hour towards Portland. So it's probably a couple of miles at least. Oh, and a big shout out as well to Pete and Al from Exmouth, who I met on the walk down here two very nice lads they've got their own YouTube channel up and running I'm afraid guys I've forgotten the name of it my memory is awful but I'm sure you can find it on YouTube anyway nice to meet you two and I hope you fish well today hello Bella I've got some slack line there I was just rebasing the other rod and just look round and that's that line. So I didn't see the bite. I can tell if there's anything there or not. Doesn't feel like anything at the moment, but yeah, there might be something there. It's not very big. Mm. 
Come on. Oh, they're spiky. Well, that's very early, isn't it, for a gurnard? Nice to catch a fish early, though. First cast. Excellent. Feels like a big spider crab. Yeah. Ah, you little devil. Not a lot you can do about those at this time of year. I'm just going to try and... Ooh, you little devil. Ooh. The forceps on that, I think. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to try and wade through them, unfortunately. Well, for the last couple of hours, all I've been doing is feeding the spider crabs. And the dog, of course. Yeah, no more bites. Although the sun's gone in and the tide's just starting to pull, so I'm hopeful. You do need that tidal movement, really. When those red rods start to sort of bend over slightly and the tide starts to pull, I always think that's a good time on chisel. No more, it's all gone. It's all gone. A little bit of a knock there. It's right hand rod. Yep. Another little gurnard. I thought there was something there. Oh, he was green. Those hooks.
Look at that fin there in the sunlight. Cool. It's beautiful. There you go, matey. He's away. He's there. First bite for a while. Feels a bit better than the last one. There's so much problem with spider crabs. I think it needs a big pack of smooth hand to come through and scare them away. This isn't a smooth hound, but I don't know what it is. Seems quite reasonable, actually. Here he comes. I know what that is. It's a dogfish. Oh well, it's a fish. Maybe they're all coming on the feed now. Eventually, got some mackerel. Thank goodness for that. Fresh bait. Only one by the look of it. But where there's one, there's others. He's a tiny one. Hooray! Here he is! Come to show me how it's done! All right, mate. <laughs> well, you haven't missed a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've had um, loads of spiders, two gurnard, um, a doggy, and one mackerel. No, I didn't catch one then. No, no. But uh, the spiders are a real nuisance. I had one, must have been the size of a dinner plate. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, get tackled up. Come on. Good bite. Go on, son. You know you want it. Yeah, he's there. Well, it's quarter to ten at night, and it has been rather slow, but I guess that's what you have to expect. The best times on Chesla definitely dusk, darkness and dawn in the 3Ds. Something on here but it's not very big. I would say that's another gurney. If anything.
Lovely. Yeah. Okay. Well, good morning. It's 5.15, the morning after the night before. I'm just giving it a little go in the hope that there might be an early morning bass wanting his breakfast. So last night we had the usual suspects dogfish and strap conger but we also had four smooth hound not huge but they, they all went well and uh, Chris unfortunately missed a run on a mackerel head close in which was almost certainly a bass Chris is just further down the bank trying for some um, some mackerel. He's had a few, although they are a bit scarce, it has to be said. So we're going to give it a few more hours until the sun really starts to bake before winding our way home. So with a bit of luck we'll either get something on the lures or something on the bottom baits. But what a morning! Glorious. That's great fishing, Chris. Oh, the mullet, yeah. Oh. oh, that was a good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's good. oh, Chris was so unlucky then. We'd seen some small risers close in, so we put on a bubble float and a small hook and a tiny strip of mackerel. And he hooked a lovely bullet there, it just came off, as you saw. So we're just putting little bits of mackerel in, sort of a, a tractor out there, hoping we can get another one. It was a nice fish, it was two or three pounds, I think. The bottom rods are absolutely motionless. It's uh, 10 to 7. Well, it's now half past 8 in the morning and we're coming to the end of our trip to Chesil. The rods haven't really moved since the sun came right up. It's pretty typical of Chesil at this time of year, really. I mean, you're, you're scratching around in the day for the odd fish, maybe. Gurnard or something. And fighting off the spider crabs. And then come dusk, it starts to pick up. And it's busy through the night. Mainly dogfish and eels, but you do get the odd bonus fish, like the smooth hound. Once that sun comes up, it's a bit of a killer at the moment. So we're just going to give it another cast or two and then be on our way. But it's been a lovely, lovely weather. So, all that remains of me to say thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you again sometime soon. Tight lines all.